Right around the time that we changed the clocks, which is now in November, the days of course are getting very, very short and many people start to experience a form of depression that we call seasonal depression or seasonal affective disorder, which often starts with fatigue, low energy, but starts to involve more symptoms of uh, depression, uh, uh, symptoms of sadness, uh, lethargy, apathy. So about 2 to 5% of Canadians will have a, a severe clinical form of seasonal depression. Another 10 or 15% though have a, a milder form. And then another large group of Canadians, perhaps as many as 25 to 35%, would have the winter blues, which is just a sense that things aren't quite as positive in the winter time as they are in the spring or summer. Seasonal depression is about 80% uh, in women and only 20% in men. When one uh, starts to treat seasonal depression, there are three options that are commonly used. The most common being light therapy, the second being antidepressant medication, and another option being tryptophan, which is a natural substance that is available uh, in pill form. Now, many people will have milder forms of seasonal mood change without having true depression. The same strategies work in, in that case, particularly light therapy is often used for people with milder forms of seasonal depression. Increasing exposure to natural light is very beneficial if it is feasible, but in reality it is often difficult to predict the quality of light in the winter time, and it's often not realistic that people are going to consistently be able to get the natural light that's required to reverse the illness and therefore the uh, existence of uh, light therapy units that are specifically designed for uh, treatment of the disorder. I get asked a lot about exercise and I would see exercise more as a um, preventative or maintenance treatment once people are better. So on a daily basis we hear about the epidemic of obesity and interestingly enough seasonal depression is a contributor to this problem in a northern climate such as Canada. Ultimately uh, one needs to accept that there's likely to be some weight gain uh, each fall winter period. The key thing is to try to limit it as much as possible using healthy uh, choices as well as uh, treatment of depression where necessary. The key point uh, today is to uh, make sure that if you're feeling uh, signs of depression this time of year going into the winter period, make sure to first get assessed by a doctor uh, before uh, confirming the diagnosis and going on to treatment options.